Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the freezer door stop on your refrigerator, be sure to unplug the power cord. Your first step is to detach the lower grill and use a 7 16th inch wrench to depress the retaining ring to release the dispenser water supply line from the coupler. Cut the tape securing the water line spring and slide the spring off. Next, use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screw, securing the top door hinge cover. Slide the cover forward to remove. Disconnect the wire connector and use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screw to release the grounding wire. Support the door and use a 3 8 inch socket or wrench to unthread the two mounting screws, securing the hinge. Lift the hinge straight up and over the wires. Now have an assistant help you to lift the door off of the lower hinge and set it on a towel or blanket. Pry out the bearing. Now unthread the two mounting screws to release the old door stop. Install the new door stop by aligning it on the bottom of the door. Then thread the screws to secure. Reinsert the bearing. Reinstall the door by feeding the water line through the hinge as you position the door on the hinge pin. Reinstall the top hinge by sliding it over the wires, then align it on the door. Thread the two mounting screws to secure. Reconnect the wire connector and secure the grounding wire under the screw. Realign the hinge cover and thread the screw to secure. Reposition the dispenser water supply line spring approximately two inches from the end of the line. Then use tape to secure the spring. Insert the end of the water line into the coupler until fully seated. Realign the grill and snap it into place. Plug the power cord back in and your refrigerator should be ready for use.